When you open Answers Discovery, you will see a home page that contains useful information to help you get started. Here you will find recent files, samples, and interactive tools. In recent files, you can see the files that you have opened recently in Discovery. In samples, you can find different sample models that are already set up based on different physics. In interactive tools, you can find step-by-step -step guides that take you through pre-processing, solving, and post-processing. You can use interactive tools or samples to speed up your learning experience. Then we have new browse and learn. If suppose you want to create geometry from scratch, then you can click on new to start preparing geometry, or you can simply click on browse to browse any saved model on your local machine to open in discovery. Then at last we have learn. We have a variety of items on this page, including access to our learning content, online help document, and verification manual for our explore mode solver. You can leverage these materials also to speed up your learning experience. The what is new section includes all the new features that have been added to each release. The getting started section contains basic information about different stages in discovery, UI components, selection options, and some help related information. At the top, we have discovery welcome page where you can change your default stage or answers discovery, select your theme from dark or light or change your view controls. Let's click on browse to import the CAD file. Here you can search the model based on the file location by choosing this PC and then going to the relevant directory or you can simply click browse and then navigate to your working directory. Here I am going to use the browse feature. From open discovery document window, we can choose a specific file type or select all supported files to see all the file types that you can import from a particular directory. So let's select the provided geometry of car HVAC model and click on open. When you load the geometry, you will notice that by default you are in discovery explore mode. Let's talk about what are the differences between these modes. So first we have model mode, which is for geometry modeling or for CAD cleanup. Also, then we have our explore mode, which uses our life physics solver to solve and give you the results in real time. Here we are using our GPU power to solve in real time and everything is tied to your GPU when it comes to running the simulation. Here in the explore mode, we are using the same GPU solver that we have in Fluent. The only difference is that in Fluent we are using and solving on a higher accuracy mesh coming from the flagship technologies. The third and last step is the refine mode. In the refine mode, we are leveraging our flagship solvers like mechanical, fluent or fluent GPU solver to give you more high fidelity solutions. And here we are using typical CPU based meshing and for solving fluid flow problems, we have both GPU and CPU based fluent solvers. When it comes to graphic user interface, here on your left side of the discovery screen, we have geometry or modeling tree. You can expand to see the parts and assemblies. Then we have the physics tree. All the information related to your material assignment and your physics setup are going to appear here. And as we progress in this course, you will notice that all the boundary conditions and materials will be appearing here in the physics stream. To turn on or off your visibility, you can simply click on this eye icon to hide or unhide any particular body or parts or assembly. To include or exclude any geometry from simulation, you can simply click on this red circular icon to change it to green and that means that your geometry is going to include it in the simulation and if I'm going to press it again it is going to change it to red and now it is excluded. You can also include or exclude any body from simulation by selecting any face of the desired body and then right clicking on your mouse will give you the options and from here 
you can select include or exclude or select simulate on selection only in the top ribbon various tabs are available such as design display repair prepare simulation and more the layout mirrors the structure we had in space claim the design tab is primarily for modeling while the repair and prepare tabs offer tools for geometry repair and preparing for simulation under the simulation tab you will find options for physics boundary conditions materials results and fidelity settings to gain deeper insights into the different tabs and tools within discovery you can utilize the overlay help system you can activate the help system by pressing f1 on your keyboard or by clicking on the question mark in the top right corner on the bottom left side of the discovery screen you will find the view arc which contains controls for altering the appearance and orientation of the model at the bottom center you will find the simulation information display or sed in short form which shows physics messages and other information about your simulation finally at the bottom right of the screen you will find the result arc which provides distinct types of displays for viewing results although it is not active for now it will become active as soon as we set up our physics boundary conditions to zoom in and out use the scroll wheel on your mouse scrolling in will zoom in and scrolling out will zoom out to rotate the geometry press and hold the scroll wheel then move your mouse to pan the geometry hold the control key on your keyboard and while holding control press and hold the scroll wheel on your mouse then move your mouse